Championship Saturday in the Women's Arena Lacrosse League from Hagersville. The final taking place at the Iroquois Lacrosse Arena. And here comes Chelsea Doolittle onto the floor. She is the goaltender for the Steel Hawks. They were facing the Snipers in the finals. The Snipers looking to win the title for the second time in league history. Here we go with the championship game. Opening quarter, it's a terrific solo effort from Mequon Tulpin. She spins off two defenders and she opens the scoring. The snipers on the board first. Just over a minute into the game, it's one nothing. Back come the Steelhawks. Jada Doxeter finding space in front. Her shot is stopped by Cordelia Eno. Good save there. Still one nothing. But a few minutes later, the Steelhawks pull even and it's a beauty goal from Deanne Panton. She dives across and puts it in. We've got a tie game. Panton makes it 1-1. Still in the first First, here is Mequon Tulpin down the near side over to Miranda Von Hanke. She's all by herself. Big save from Chelsea Doolittle. She denies Von Hanke, but the snipers would strike before the quarter is over. Victoria McKenzie with the ball to Brianna Tremblay. She comes in front and scores. The snipers with a 2-1 lead after the first. Second quarter now, more snipers offense. Brianna Tremblay grabs the loose ball over to Miranda Von Hanke, and she bears it. The Snipers with a two goal advantage. They are up 3-1. Back come the Steelhawks and a good run here by Rain Blasuti. She comes in and fires. Cordelia Eno coming through. She keeps it a two goal game midway through the second quarter. Then it's a solid play on defense by Fawn Porter. She wins the battle. Porter scoops up the loose ball and she takes it the other way. Here comes Porter. She's got a breakaway. Chelsea Doolittle with a big save for the Steelhawks. Good effort though by Porter. It remains 3-1, but a little later this time Porter makes no mistake. She grabs the loose ball and rips it in. Porter giving the Snipers a three goal advantage. They are up 4-1. Final minute of the quarter now. Chelsea Doolittle with a long pass for Rain Blasuti. She charges in. Good chance. Stopped by Cordelia Eno. The Snipers with a 4-1 lead at the break. Third quarter now. Michelle Williams with possession along the near boards. She drives to the net. Chelsea Doolittle with the stop. No scoring in the third. Still 4-1 as we move to the fourth. And it's a big goal from Deanne Panton. She fires and scores for the Steelhawks. They are closing the gap as Panton records her second goal of the afternoon. But the snipers answer a few minutes later. Fawn Porter comes in and it's a bounce shot for the goal. Porter with her second goal of the game. She she makes it 5-2 for the Snipers. And as time expires, they are celebrating. The Snipers win the title for the second time in three seasons. They take a hard-fought battle over the Steelhawks. 5-2 is the final. The team captains with the championship trophy after the victory. The Snipers are the champions in the Arena Lacrosse League this season. Our post-game comments begin with Brianna Tremblay, who scored one goal in Saturday's final. It's huge like coming back from COVID everybody just wanted to get on the floor and have some fun so it's definitely huge for everybody not even just for us winning it just getting the league going again has been huge so it's definitely satisfying to tap it off with this for sure. This means everything to me these girls are like my family like we've been dreaming of this for two years because of COVID so this means everything to us. I saw my team helping each other out and I thought you know what this is my team. I need to help them out. This is my family. Us becoming a family at the last minute. I mean, it was a hard first game of the day. And then after a while, we just started communicating. Everyone was laughing, having a good time. We understood what it meant to breathe and like trust each other with the ball and really be there for each other to help get the ball up the floor. I got to say like defense. I mean, defense is always where it's going to be. Dee's amazing player. We got to shut her down immediately. So I, I was I was always like coming together, making sure we're communicating on D and um, really taking that step forward to pre-plan for this really helped out. For more highlights, visit our website, 519sportsonline.ca. Be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel and follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter.